Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new content. Guys, for the month of December, uh, we are going to start giving out three free three question readings every week in the month of December. So if you're interested, leave me a comment. And if you're the winner, I'll comment on your on your comment. So with that, guys, let's get into this reading for Aries. Aries, you have somebody who's wanting to come back and reconcile with you, but this person's only doing it to win at all costs. They are doing magic. They are doing magic flat out. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Aries, let's get into your energy. Then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs and then we'll get you, uh, into your spread and then I'll get you some clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Aries. Aries looks like you're gonna have a victory with somebody from the past. So let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Aries, starting with Aries. You're dealing with another Aries. There, somebody had a burden walking away from something. Or they walked away because of the burdens. It could be either or. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there's justice in the Ten of Cups. So there's justice in a family situation. Um, this could be somebody getting married. If you're dealing with a Gemini. So I feel like this spy card with the, the Page of Swords. This is somebody who's seeing something. You could be gathering information. But I feel like you see something in divine timing. If you're dealing with a cancer, I feel like someone's trying to be patient about standing their ground about something or they're they're trying to find some balance in standing their ground. I don't feel like that this is blocking energy. This could be overcoming obstacles. Someone's being, being patient to overcome obstacles. That's a possibility with cancer, being patient to overcome obstacles. If you're dealing with a if you're dealing with a Leo, someone's taking the time to look at something from a different perspective about a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo's coming in as Virgo with this Virgo energy with the Hermit. So the light's being shed on something or this person's going with, going, okay, so this person's been doing some soul searching for a long time. So really, I feel like going in like being solitude being in solitude with this their selves for a long time so deep thinking i feel like doing some soul searching for a long time for virgo you're dealing with a libra somebody's not speaking to a, a taurus virgo or a capricorn if you're dealing with a scorpio Someone's wanting to heal. I feel like they want to heal an argument. They want they want their wishes to heal an argument. Uh, with that page of wands, some you know maybe there was a heated discussion, and there someone wants to heal that, whatever that is. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's um, somebody's dipping in and dipping out. They're hiding that they're a player. They're hiding that they're a player. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. Someone's holding back. I feel like someone's um, someone's holding back because of betrayal. They're they're not ready to dip their toes in. I feel like they're very guarded. This is holding on or holding back. But I feel they're holding back from something because someone betrayed them. But don't block your blessings if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorn, don't block your blessings. Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like somebody's going to be happy working with somebody, working and collaborating with somebody. So it's going to cause a lot of joy, give somebody a lot of joy to work with somebody. And then if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces wants to reconcile an ending. So at something that ended, they want to reconcile. They want another turn is what I just heard. Okay, so Aries, you're going to have victory with somebody from the past. This energy victory with somebody from the past. Let's get into your energy and find out what's going on for Aries. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Aries, please. 
So I feel like with this Knight of Swords, someone's rushing in to speak a truth. This could be an argument. So a harsh truth is causing an argument with that Page of Wands, and it's causing people not to speak. So whatever this harsh truth is that someone rushed in and said, it caused a fight, and it, now, now you're not speaking. But there's going to be a victory here because you're going to see something from another perspective about something long-term and committed. You're going to see something here. Okay, so somebody may want to offer you equal give and take and reconcile a relationship, but you got the devil energy. There's so something that's could be toxic, but this would be the wish fulfillment of a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. So Aries, this would be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, but they want to reconcile a relationship and give you equal give and take. But I feel like the devil's in the mix. So the devil's in the details here, right? So is this a toxic relationship? Because I feel like they they want to sh they they're saying they want to give you equal give and take, but there may be no equal give and take. And somebody still wanting to reconcile this relationship that's toxic, that would be the wish fulfillment of this Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. So the light's being shed on something and somebody needs to make a head over heart decision to cut something out and walk away. They're saying to walk away from this, okay? You're looking back at the past, the mistakes that were made. And somebody's wanting justice for, for I feel like, they're unhappy. Somebody's very unhappy wanting justice, looking back at the past mistakes. Under the bottom of the deck, divine timing is at play, okay? So let's see what else comes out for Aries. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries. What is... Aries need to know why is the Knight of Swords here for Aries, please? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Aries? Someone's very guarded and defensive about a truth that was spoken, and it's causing an argument, but somebody's actually wanting to doesn't want to fight. I feel like with this passionate communication, there's somebody that doesn't doesn't want um doesn't want to fight. I feel like somebody wants to be peaceful about this fight. They they don't want they don't want to fight. They're they're trying to be patient where this passionate communication is concerned. So I feel like one person, one person's being passive, very passive in the situation. One's very heated. I but I almost feel like I almost feel like this is manipulation, Aries. I feel like the matter you get, the calmer they get. Okay. And for some reason that's being brought to me that the matter you get, the calmer they get. That's a form of, a, you know, they're, they're playing mind games with you. Then they're going to try to turn it around on you. Like this is your problem, or this is, this is why you're so guarded in having this argument, right? I feel like not speaking, um, they want to heal. They're saying they want to heal something. Their wish, their wish is to heal, not speaking here, right? They want a victory. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy doesn't have to be, but this could represent an X to you. So they want to heal this. They want to heal this. They want to have the victory. The victory, somebody who wants to have the victory is this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be somebody who's got a lot of money, solid, stable. You think they're solid and stable and dependable, but I feel some manipulation here. I feel like they're trying to to turn it around on you to make you think that because the reason I say this, okay, is because this card's in the mix, right? So everything is not what it seems in this situation, okay? So somebody's looking back at the past or trying to understand something from a different perspective. Now, you may have been married to this person because a queen of pentacles is above the ten of pentacles here, right? Trying to understand something. Why does this person want to win so bad? So you're looking at something from a pers different perspective. I feel like you see this, like you get this, Aries. Like you see that this person's just trying to win, right? They're trying to come back from the battle victorious. 
They're trying to win. And you see this. You're taking the time to look at it from another perspective about why they want to win so bad. This is the Queen of Pentacles wanting to have this victory, right? Something long-term and committed is their wish fulfillment. They say that that's their wish fulfillment. They want they want it to be solid again. They want to reconcile with you. This person you're not with right now. Matter of fact, you weren't even speaking to this person. Okay? The hermit wants to pop out. Okay? You may be dealing with a Virgo. I'm feeling strong Virgo energy here with this Queen of Pentacles. Doesn't have to be, though. I mean, take it out resonates with you. But I don't feel there's equal give and take and the light's being shed on that. So somebody's seeing the light in this case about this no week will give and take. Um, to reconcile, they're trying to apologize. They're trying to offer you reconciliation in a relationship. But look, I'm picking up the energy that this person is full of it, okay? This person's trying to win at all cost playing mind games, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. Like they they're the the calmer you get, the matter you get, the calmer they get, then it's like, "Oh, you know, you know, this person's just trying to win." And this person is seeing that this person's trying to win. Why? Because this relationship, somebody's trying to win at all cost playing mind games. It's coming out because it's toxic. It's toxic toxic here. It's toxic. Somebody's manifesting the devil? Really? They're manifesting the devil. Or is this magic, toxic magic? Somebody's doing trickery here. Someone's doing nonsense. Someone is doing, yeah. And it could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, it's somebody from your past, Aries. This king of, of cups is somebody from your past. And it, it's coming in as a masculine energy, but it could be a feminine energy. You take it how it resonates, you would know. Their wish fulfillment. They want to end something to start something new. You're at a crossroads about it. I feel like you want your wish fulfillment is to end something here. You're at a crossroads, though. Why are you at a crossroads when you know this person's full of it? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I'm not even kidding you. Because you're at, this is this is your energy, Aries, right here. I'm feeling, I was feeling feminine energy with this King of Cups, okay? And so with this Queen of Cups coming out, you're at a crossroads about this person. If you're at a crossroads about this person, it's because of the trickery this person's doing on you, trying to suck you back in. That's what this person is. They're trying to win at all cost with you, right? It's their wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment is to end something. You don't want to deal with this person anymore. But this person, this Queen of Cups, has you at a, at a crossroads now. Ha having you doubt yourself. I feel like you're doubting yourself because of this Queen of Cups energy, right? But they're saying, you're, you see something clearly here. You see something clearly here with this... Um, the hermit, you're, you're gone within, right? And you're making a decision to cut something out and walk away. Good for you. Aries, walk away. Walk away from this nonsense. Because all it's going to cause you is burden. That one to fly out of the deck, right? Burden in something long-term and committed, right? There's a harsh truth here. The harsh truth is that you don't want to be with this person. That's the harsh truth, okay? You're looking back at the past. You want justice for the unhappiness this person has caused you, the drama this person has caused you, and you need strength to be out in the cold to move forward, to move forward. Look, you don't miss this person. You, you're having regrets for even thinking about this person. Don't regret, your, don't regret it. Move on. Even if you move on with regrets, it's only because they're doing bullshit on you. Move on, move on. <laughs> Move on. That's what it's saying. Just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling, Aries. Best thing you could possibly do for yourself is keep it rolling. Get this person out of your life, right? You're manifesting or they're manifesting. They're manifesting happy. You're manifesting happiness, you know, uh, and confidence to get clear of this person, right? You know this. You know this. You have these abilities. You know. You know what you know where this person is concerned. And what needs to happen for you is healing. That's what needs to happen for you, Aries. 
You say the underdog. I feel like somebody's saying you're the underdog. You're not the underdog in this case. I feel like you may have been in the past because you may have not been wise to what, <laughs> what do they say? They say, say no, say no. Just as simple as that. You can't make that up, okay? They're telling you no. Retreat. Get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> I just, I love when Spirit is telling you what you need to hear right now, Aries. They're saying say no and retreat. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. I wouldn't trust this person as far as you could throw them. Ascend, you're ascending to a higher level. You will have a union with somebody else. It isn't this person. This person's a karmic to you. This person's trying to trap you in this case. You could be, and they're, you're not even really showing up on the board here, Aries. I feel like th th this is just what's going on around you. You're ascending to a higher level of understanding. You will get in union with your twin flame if you keep it rolling. You'll be in, this person isn't it, I promise you. This person that is trying to trap you with this nonsense is not your twin, not your twin. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.